Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for your co-main event of the evening. It is a rematch from Collision 2 that went to a majority decision and is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. She goes beyond. Okay, respect the rules, listen my comments. Good luck, back to the corners. Boy, Almeida looks all business, so does Visa. Yeah. No playing tonight. Almeida's been smiling all week. He's been crying, been very emotional. But right now, boy, he looks mean as can be. He's got that Alex Pereira look. Yeah, for the sound. mean mug. Hey! All right, scheduled for three rounds, middleweight division, the champ versus the number one contender, non-title. Cesar Almeida coming in heavy for this fight yesterday on the scales. But he still has to win this bout. Almeida in the black gloves, Visa, the champ, in the white. In their first fight, it was Visa who came out very aggressive with the boxing, scored himself a knockdown. So Almeida knows this first round is very important. Front kick there from Visa. Yeah, even Visa staying very technical, very I defensive. I thought with this being a three-rounder, they'd say, hey, let's come out and guns blazing, but no. No, I think they know how dangerous each other are, how much power they have. That's what rematches do. Right? You felt their power, you know how dangerous each other are. A lot of calf kicks in this fight. Both fighters going low. Yeah, I think uh, Almeida started it and Visa gave it back. Nice left there from Visa. Yeah, Visa super technical, the way he uses his jab and his level changes. Watch his low kicks, very sneaky and well set up. And then Visa all of a sudden is gonna mix high kicks. He's just so sneaky with the way he mixes his levels. And he could be explosive waiting for him to pop off here. Yeah, you'll see him move his head well. Such a complete fighter is Visa. Digging to the body is Almeida. How do you prepare yourself to absorb body shots in a fight? Well, it's partly of years of training, learning to develop that body armor, we call it. You see some fighters just taking punches in the gut during training camp. Other fighters don't do anything. Sergio Mora, my friend who's a world champion boxer, said he never did any of that stuff. Yeah, it just comes from lots of sparring and years of training. You don't really focus on it once you get higher level. As long as you're doing your core work, your strength training, and your sparring, you're good. Oh, the calf kicks, man. One of the things I've been talking a lot about the calf kicks, you might give 20 leg kicks to do damage where it takes one or two calf kicks with that nerve. There's one from Almeida. Yeah, he's fully targeting the calf. So by these guys' standards, it's been a pretty pedestrian round one, especially considering it's only a three-rounder. You know, the funny thing about these calf kicks, you know, the best person to do them is Alex Pereira watching. He actually got Israel Adesanya with it pretty good in their world fight in the UFC. World title fight, yeah, they'll be rematching later in the spring, and they're both opening up now. Almeida, chin checking Visa. Yeah, maybe Almeida got the better in that exchange. And there is Alex Pereira. Talk about a talent, Joe. Two division world champion in glory, goes to UFC, no MMA experience, and within a year has beaten Adesanya right. for the world title. Well, he's got Donovan Visa here now, the dream chaser. That would have been a nice matchup if he stayed here, but the lead uppercut, one of his best strikes, the way he sets it up, and 10 of his 17 wins by way of knockout, the way he sets things up. Watch for those head kicks. <laughs> Almeida, former Brazilian national champion. He's beaten Alex Pereira. He's beaten Azcoglian. Ivan Galaz out of Chile. He's earned this opportunity, but then lost it on the scale yesterday. But a, a decent opening round one for him. Yeah, showed good power, good level changing, defensively sound. Decent start for sure. Visa being technical, using his jab, setting up his straight punches. But Almeida, good defensive. He got the best of those left hooks. See how the judges score it in just a minute. Round two, scheduled for three. Middleweight division. Yeah, this is, gets that first round. It's super close, though. 
Well, Almeida lost the first round when they fought the first time, so nothing new for him. But he came on like gangbusters, didn't he? Yeah, he started switching stances, got a little bit more comfortable. Back to those so, calf kicks. Almeida. No more, no more. Hey. So that was an awkward moment. Man, those calf kicks, I'm telling you, it's not gonna take too many more to, to hurt Visa because he might be going southpaw already. Yeah, see? He doesn't want any more of those. No matter how many years you've trained low kicks, it takes two calf kicks, see? Well, that one again, that, that, that really gone. hurt him. I that really you. hurt him, Joe. You're talking about a guy who's taken hundreds of thousand low kicks, but is taking three or four calf kicks to really do a lot of damage. I've always said kickboxers need to bring it in. Forcing the champ to go southpaw. And no, it always took him out with that back low kick. This is a big dramatic swing in the fight. Yeah, now Visa's gonna have to start throwing power punches, but naturally he's gonna have to switch if he gets comfortable. But hey, a lot of people won't be skilled enough to make that switch. Yeah, that's talent in itself, being able to switch stances. Ooh. Oh, nice high knee from Visa, fighting out of the southpaw position. Almeida has to win this round. Ooh. Break. Another low kick to the calf. So how does Visa counter Break. the calf kick? Well, at some point he's gonna have to, one, switch stance like he did. Two, it's very even hard, even blocking them and lifting your leg up. It's more about slipping it at this point, slip and counter. Or if you're gonna eat one, sit on your punch and just drop a rear punch. We'll see how confident is Visa boxing from a southpaw position. He's showing good front kicks and knees from it. Still not the amount of activity you would expect for this fight. Yeah, you would think a lot more for sure. Maybe the training for five rounds, you have to pace yourself in a five round fight. So the five round is almost like a marathon versus a sprint. Well, you would wonder if Almeida, since he's compromised Visa's leg, maybe he wants to get into more of a sit in the pocket exchange punches because Visa fighting out of the south ball. Yeah, the, the benefit for Almeida is he should start slamming his punches now. When you switch stances, your boxing defense tends to be harder because you don't train there. here. The first round belonged to Visa. The second round, not a lot done spectacularly. And four of the five give it to Visa despite the low kick damage Almeida. That is, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. You cannot make a fighter switch stances, wobble on a leg, and not say that's the most damage you strike, but come on. Dig into the body now is Almeida, who's probably wishing this is a five rounder now. Yeah, I mean, but, oh, Visa's doing good with the boxing Bink. now. Stay back. Yeah, imagine Fight. if this was five and Visa's fighting on a bum wheel. Yeah, but Visa's doing a good job at pivoting out, too. Every time he sees Almeida throw, he pivots that back leg. Bink. Takes that calf right away. <laughs> Pretty even statistics. Both fighters mixing it up. But the judges 
have decided it's Visa who's doing a better job. Good snapping straights. Visa complaining about a head bump. They're both complaining, which means it happened. <laughs> and even if you're the one who caused it, you should do it like your partner did it. <laughs> Still waiting for that, you know, wow moment in this fight. Stepping. Looks like Almeida's not putting too much power on his punches because he's just trying to get to that back leg. He's trying to find different setups to it. Visa sniping with that left hand. I wonder, wonder if Almeida knows the sense of urgency he should have here in the third round. Open scoring has told us he's lost the first two. Yeah, see, he's a good job pulling that back leg behind every time Almeida wants that calf. Ooh. Exchanging straight rights. Yeah, slip counter for slip counter. Pretty good job boxing southpaw for Visa. Got to give him credit. Oh, for sure. Even defensively, attacking wise with his straights. Stayed orthodox for a split second, but some good angling out and combos from Visa. Ten seconds to go. Ooh. Nice left from Visa. Almeida scoring two. And it wasn't the exciting, brawling Stop. fight we maybe hoped for. It was very technical, very tit for tack. But it seems like Visa, at least judging with those first two rounds, is going to win this. The decision when we return. in Germany and Joe not a lot of excitement in this fight no it started off where Visa stayed orthodox was able to chop find good combinations where Almeida continued to pressure throw those calf kicks and then we all of a sudden had to see Visa change a little bit after they started adding up forced the, the champ to kind of dig deep have a different strategy put that hurt leg behind him but did a great job fighting from a southpaw and Almeida kept pressuring, trying to find his boxing and his calf kicks, but it was ultimately Visa who was able to circle away, stay defensive, use his boxing counters, and what it seems like got the win here tonight. Final statistics. Total 125 landed shots for Visa, 145 for Almeida. Many of those coming via kicks. Strikes thrown per minute in round three. Almeida really picked up the pace, but according to the judges, the first two rounds didn't go his way, so it may have been too little, too late. Let's find out. Tim Hughes has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we once again go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. 
One judge scores it 29-28. The four remaining judges all have it 30-27. It's a unanimous decision. All for your winner, Donovan Misa. All right, I'm here with your winner, Donovan Visa. I'm here with your winner, Donovan Visa. Maybe a tougher fight than you expected tonight. A um, little bit tougher. He got me good with the calf kicks. In the first round, I was, I was like, oh, what is this? In the second round, he got me good again. That's why I switched uh, to Southpaw. But it was a good fight, a hard, hard opponent. I didn't underestimate, underestimate him. I told in every interview I'm expecting the best armada that is, and uh, that was what I got, got today. There was a lot of things happening, missing weight, three rounds, five rounds. Did that affect you in any way here tonight? No, not at all. It was a little bit of frustration because I want to defend my title, of course. I'm the champion, and uh, I still got the fight. That was, uh, that, was, that was it, you know. I came to fight and I fought, you know. That's it. Yeah, I mean, earlier tonight we had Sirka and Oscar Glyon do well. No, uh, he wants you, obviously. Give me your thoughts on him and where you want to go next in this division. Of course, I, uh, I won today. Serkan won today, so the logic fight is uh, that I go against Serkan for the title. Robbie make it happen, and uh, I'll win again. All right, the champ calling his shots. Let's hear it for Donovan Visa. By the way, they keep referencing Robbie. They're talking about Robbie Timmers, our matchmaker, fighter relations specialist.